Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. Earlier this week, Microsoft rolled out their latest Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 25284, which was made available to the Dev Channel Insiders, which as I mentioned in that video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, it included a new Messenger app widget and also a fixed right-click issues. Now, over and above uh, those changes and improvements, um, once again, which is quite common in the uh, early preview builds, another new hidden feature or hidden code, as it's also referred to, has once again uh, been spotted. And uh, hidden features are uh, possibly features that Microsoft are working on internally and are not included in the official change log and release notes, which in this case is build 25284. And this new hidden feature, which was spotted by the Windows enthusiast Phantom Ocean 3 on Twitter, uh, is called Fix Problems Using Windows Update, which means basically at the end of the day, you'll be able to reinstall uh, the build that is currently installed and without using an installation media or installation media using the fixed problems uh, uh, using Windows Update. So if we just head over to a screenshot of the feature, and um, that's on the system page, recovery uh, page, uh, fixed problems using Windows Update. And once again, this was uh, enabled using VAV tool, which is quite common. And um, it's still early days. So yeah, we can see, although um, it is enabled, it says this option is currently unavailable. But um, this does give us an indication that um, Microsoft is uh, soon going to be able to let you run an in-place upgrade to the same build without installation media. And that's, as mentioned, hidden in build 25284. Now, at the end of the day, what this means in a nutshell, um, just to sum it all up, it's going to let you reinstall the currently installed build using the files from Windows Update instead of performing an in-place upgrade. So that's the long and the short of what this feature could all be about spotted in build 25284. Now, um, just to put it all into perspective, if we just head over to the settings app in the stable version and we head to the system page and recovery, that feature will be placed here just under fixed problems without resetting your PC. And um, if Microsoft does decide to release this feature um, in up and coming builds in the Insider program for official testing, when it, when and if it does roll out to the stable version, you'll be able to upgrade uh, devices by simply heading over to the settings app and accessing them via the Windows update without having to, as mentioned, do an in-place upgrade, which I think will be a great move in the right direction, as I always say, if and when it does roll out officially. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.